hello there and welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be creating an eye look using my cellophane palette Yay! okay so i'm aware that i've possibly definitely neglected this palette here on my channel which is heinous of me considering that a lot of you guys purchased this palette to support me and I feel like such a shit bag for not really doing much with her like I do much with her I do much with her I do a lot with her like day to day but for some reason I've not really like created a lot of eye looks with her here on my channel and in my defense there, there is a reason for that and it's not because I don't love the palette it's because I did not want to seem like I was kind of being braggy about the palette I kind of I don't know I feel like I don't want to be pushing the palette in everyone's faces you know you, there's a lot of youtubers who do collaborations and then you know forevermore all you see is that fucking product that they're ramming down your throat and I, I suppose I just did not want to be that person but I think in me trying not to be that person I have possibly just like neglected the palette well I definitely have like I have neglected I've neglected you I'm so sorry also like I, a lot of people have asked me if this palette is currently still available unfortunately it's not you can be the feckers that they are they're not I love them but they decided that they just weren't going to uh, reproduce anymore so they are feckers aren't they I know I know between you and me absolute feckers I mean really they're not feckers I really do appreciate you can be for uh, giving me this opportunity but I do have to say though it's a little bit of a mini announcement I do have some of these palettes which I do plan on selling at some point. I'll probably be selling them through eBay, but because this is me we're talking about, and I find it difficult just to like schedule a dentist appointment, I've not quite got to that point where I've thought about how am I actually going to sell these palettes, but I will be selling them and I'll probably be selling them cheaper than you can be worth selling them in the first place anyway. So who wins? Who really wins out of this? I mean, really. But anyway, guys, today I'm going to be doing an eye look. I am going to be using the blue metallic, which is called Andreas, after my eldest son. So I'm going to be using this shade on the lid. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be using everywhere else. But uh, this is definitely going to be like a beautiful metallic blue look today. So without further uh, talking, <laughs> I know you, you're sat there thinking, I'm going to we both know that there's going to be lots more talking. But anyway, okay, so guys, do you know what? We're just going to jump right in. And today I am going to begin with the shade Clueless, which is uh, the most beautiful light pink peach. Oh my gosh, do I even know my own palette anymore? Obviously not. She'd be neglecting her, but no, we're going to go with a light peach in the crease to create a transition. And I'm going to stop talking now because I don't really need to say much more, do I, about that? No! So guys, how have you been? How have you been recently? I really, really hope that you've been well. Everything's been like up in the air right now, like wherever you are in the world, like no matter where you are in the world. Things have been like super chaotic, but I kind of do feel like we're coming back to some kind of sense of like, oh, it's not so chaotic, like still chaotic, but just not quite on the level of chaos that, you know, we, we were experiencing before. I've just realized this was a dirty brush because I was thinking, why is it not looking as peach as I expected? Because I was using a dirty brush because I apparently, think that I don't need to wash my brushes it's fine I'm just going to go in on the other side though because I at least want this to be matching in its dirty peach look you know what I mean and then I can um I can I can get a clean brush I, I went through a phase of being like super like vigilant about washing my brushes and like most phases in my life that seemed to end it ended and I'm just wondering if it's coming back at some point but it doesn't seem to be coming back anytime soon so yeah anyway so right let me get a clean brush oh my gosh can you believe it trying to even like just chill my own palette 
sucking it up. That's me. Yeah, anyway, I think things are slowly kind of getting back to normal. But oh, I'm distracted because that still looks dirty. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm hoping that this clean brush is going to bring back the peach. And it is. Oh, I did feck it up though, didn't I? Like, oh my gosh, not a great start, was it, to the eye look? But I'm going to bring these back, guys. We're just going to pop on loads and loads of this peach. Can you see? Like, that is how it is meant to look. Oh gosh, okay. I need to just remember this next time I'm procrastinating about washing my eye brushes. So we're just going to swoop swoop this shade all up in the crease and as usual I do like to take it quite high up because I like it to you know really be seen when I'm looking face on I just find that a lot of the time if I simply apply my kind of transitional shade in the crease you don't really see it when I'm like looking you know face on so that's why I like to take it a little bit higher up and I do like to use these like circular motions, which admittedly can be a little bit challenging if you're using a larger brush, but I just, uh, this is like my preferred method. This palette is such good quality. The shades are so pigmented and when not using a dirty brush, they're definitely very true to the shade that they look in the pan. I also like to take the shadow like you know, quite far in towards my nose because, again, I just feel like that gives it a lot more oomph and it just creates more of like a dramatic kind of look. I feel like there's no halfway with me. I can't do subtle or discreet makeup. I like to have makeup that, you know, you know, yes, it's there. Or like, why bother? Like, why bother with discreet makeup, you know? Since I've been working from home most of the time and not really wearing makeup, it changes the way I do my makeup generally because when I do do makeup, when I'm, you know, heading out to work, to the office to work, I said that's if I don't work when I'm working from home. But I definitely do. I just like to really make the most of whatever makeup I am, you know, wearing. So I do like to go for this whole, like, let's just cover the entire space between my lid and the brow. I try it, I like it, and that's what I do. There we go, we've got the peach, we've got the peach. It's a little bit of a dirty peach. It's kind of like, you know, a cocktail you'd get if you were in Magaluf back in the 90s. Hi, I'll have a dirty peach, please. It's kind of like that, but I think I brought it back mostly okay so guys next we are going to do something else which i'm not quite sure okay so i know what we're doing okay so guys next we are going to go in with this beautiful orange shade this is definitely one of my favorite shades in the palette it's one of my most used and i feel like if you have this palette too this is probably a shade that you use a lot too just because it kind of complements any other kind of eye look you've got going on and it just is really really good for just a little bit of vibrancy and a little bit of like a pop a summertime pop so i am going to take a smaller brush and i'm going to just try and vet my brushes this time to make sure that they're clean are you clean sir mm, kind of yes you'll do by the way this shade is called fanny pack named after my love for fanny packs i'm just going to be focusing that kind of in the crease this time. And again, I'm just using a small circular motions, pushing it into this socket of the crease. The socket, oh my gosh, does that not freak you out when people say the socket of the crease? It's like, oh God, kind of like when someone says kneecap. Oh. So I've been really, really enjoying doing my decluttering series. I say that like I've done a million videos so far, I've done two, but I've really been enjoying like just getting rid of some stuff because I do firmly believe that the more, or the less, sorry, the less, definitely the less clutter you have, the more you enjoy the things you do have. I kind of learned that from, from having kids. No, and that sounds really bad, doesn't it? But no, I learned it from having kids when I would see them 
just ignore all of their toys because they had far too many. And then when I covertly took away some of their toys in, in the darkness of night when they were fast asleep, I sound like such a witchy mother, don't I? But when they were fast asleep, I came with my bin bag and I decided what they will play with and what they will not play with based on how many times I've actually seen them play with this fecking plastic toy. So yeah, I find that, you know, like with them, they just had tons and tons of plastic toys and they just stopped actually noticing the good toys that they had. So yeah, I've been really enjoying like the whole declutter situation and I just feel like it's good for one's spirit to get rid of shit. So, so, so we've got this beautiful kind of sunset situation going on now. Okay, so next we are going to go in with the beautiful metallic blue. So this one is a quite a textured kind of um, metallic. It's kind of like a pigment, but when I say texture, by the way, I don't know, oh my gosh, it's gonna look really like chunky on your lid. I mean, it's got a, it's like a pressed pigment, but it's not been all the way pressed down. So it's got a little bit of like, give to it uh, which is great because it just gives it the most beautiful metallic illusion on the lid this just reminds me of being on holiday with crystal clear waters with probably a dirty peach cocktail in my hand just living my very best life so i'm going to proceed to apply this all over the lid um i'm going to apply it with a dry finger and then at the end i'm going to be sealing it all in with a wet brush oh, look at that my finger oh my gosh this is the best my fingers ever looked I mean, just look at that, guys. Oh, so as I apply it, I just kind of, well, I just apply it. I mean, I was going to give you a whole lecture on like, oh, I do this and I press down about 40%. Not too hard, not too light, 40%. But then I thought they know how to apply a metallic to the lid. You know this, don't you guys? Okay, so guys, I mean, look at that. Mm, okay. So this is what the shadow looks like, dry, but I am going to go in with a wet brush. It does not need a wet brush. Like, look at that. It looks so beautiful. But we always want things to look the best that they could possibly look. So I've got a flat brush. I don't know the technical name for it, but I can tell you it's flat. And I've spritzed a little bit of Fix Plus on my table right here because that's just the kind of girl that I am. And next, I'm gonna just dip that into the shadow. I'm just going to apply this. So this is also really helpful for just making sure that your edges are smooth. Okay, so now that we have done the lids, I am just gonna go under the eye, and I feel like I, the obvious choice for me would to to go in, be to go in with the sorry i feel like the obvious choice would be to go in with a peach or orange but no not today i'm actually going to go in with that's me sending it sending for help. Please help, someone help me. Make up junkie UFOs, help, 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 help. Do you know what, right? The shade I want is not in my palette. Is that not the biggest faux pas ever? I just want like a navy-ish kind of shade, which I don't have in the palette. So I am going to very kindly make use of another palette, which is the Club Nebula by uh, Clyde's Makeup. Uh, the actual like shade that I really want is like I'm really keen on this kind of navy shade because really I just want to add a little bit of like depth and intensity down there. So I'm going to go in with uh, this navy shade and I'm just going to pop that just under my eye. Okay, so that does look quite intense, which is what I wanted, but I'm just going to go in with this beautiful kind of uh, turquoise shade and I'm just going to use that just to blend out the edges underneath. After that, I'm going to be applying my mascara and then I will show you the final look. 
Okay, so to finish this look off, I'm going to be using it. Honey's is cooking downstairs. Honey's, what are you doing down there? Okay, so for the lips, I'm going to be using a lip product that I've not used ever before. Again, an example of what I was talking about earlier with the issues when you've got loads of products. And by the way, I know it may sound really ungrateful of me to be moaning about having like loads and loads of makeup which is a complete first world problem and I completely get that. I've never used this and I'm going to be doing another lip declutter soon so I just thought let's try it out today. So this is by NYX, it's one of the lingerie push-ups. I do really like this formula. It's basically a lip crayon and it just kind of lasts for ever on your lips. Okay, so this is what it looks like and I love it. This is like my most perfect peach lip product. It's so gorgeous. Like how have I just ignored this for about a year and it's just been sat on my makeup table and I've never used it. This is so beautiful. So it's in the shade Silk Indulgent. Oh my gosh, what a great name. And I think it really complements the, the blues and the peaches on the eyes. Oh, I love it. So let me see oh okay so because it is a very very light shade a tiny bit chalky it does look only a tiny bit patchy on the lips like when i look up close but i mean it's so gorgeous and it's also got a really gorgeous kind of a uh, tingling kind of sensation it does claim to mildly plump up your lips which i don't really believe it will do that but i like the effort and i like the way that it feels like it will plump up your lips they've definitely they've gone all out with that one but oh my gosh i really love this it's so beautiful oh i was just about to say oh my god okay guys we finished and i was like oh no we've not finished i've not done my blush okay so guys for blush i mean i think this is gonna be quite obvious to anyone that's watched my channel before so i am going to be using the here's to beauty naked blush in the shade angelica this is just the most beautiful peach glowy blush a lot of people say it's a good dupe for luminoso by milani but i've never tried i've never tried luminoso by milani because I bought this one first and then I thought, well, why, why pay more to get a potential dupe, which is more expensive, of the product that I love? Why do that? I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to be giving this one a go now. Not a go. I've tried it a million times. I'm going to be popping her around is what I'm going to be doing. Do you ever just like think about yourself and you just think, oh my God, I'm so annoying. I mean, I must be so annoying. Like, I always think this, like, I think, how does Honey put up with me? Like, really, like, wow, how does he put up with me? Because I couldn't put up with me, because I know I'm so annoying. Like, I annoy myself sometimes, and I don't know how I could put up with me. Like, Honey deserves, like, a medal, because I'm good at doing things, like, some things around the house. But I'm very annoying, so I just don't know, like... Oh my gosh, I couldn't deal with me. I could not deal with me. Anyway, just had to say that. Oh my gosh, just look at how beautiful this all is. Look at it. it like, I'm not talking about me. Just the look. The look is something else. I love it. And this is not the kind of look that I would wear generally because I don't don't generally reach for kind of blues or greens on the lid but I actually think this is remarkably wearable considering that you know this is a metallic blue I have on my lid it's just kind of screaming yes I'm a little bit out there but still you could wear me to the office and probably no one would really bat an eyelid so I really like it. Anyway, guys, so that brings us to the end of the video. I really, really hope that you've enjoyed it today. It's been really nice to do a, a little look using my cellophane palette. I, I just feel eternally grateful that any of you guys bought it. And whenever I hear feedback from you saying that you really loved it, it just is the biggest compliment ever. And um, yeah, I really am so proud of that palette and just so grateful to you can be for being given the opportunity to be able to even say the sentence, my palette, my palette. So anyway, guys, I will let you know once I've come up with a plan in terms of selling the stock of palettes that I have, I will let you know um, hopefully soon about that. But 
I am going to go now um, and leave you in peace. Thank you so much for watching the video and I hope to see you in the next one.